Welcome to lesson number 14, working with system search. Sometimes during the installation of an MSI, it is essential to perform various checks on the system to determine a few things, such as whether a program is installed on the machine, uh, whether we need a path to a prerequisite, uh, whether we need to change a configuration, and so on. These tests can be performed with the help of a function known as system search. While installing a package, Windows installer can search for a file, directory, registry or component using an app search action. The tables that populate when creating a system search, depending on the type of system search that you want, are app search, component locator for components, directory locator for directories, INI locator for INI files, reg locator for registry and signature for files. But Advanced Installer makes working with system searches easier, so let's take a look. With the project open, click on the search page. If we choose the new search button, a wizard will open to help us make the search. Or we can choose predefined searches for Internet Explorer, Adobe products and so on. For this example, we'll use the new search. Let's say that we want to find the file and get to where it is present on the machine, so we'll click next here. Now we want to look for a file called myfile.txt which we know must be somewhere in C, but don't know where. So we'll type myfile.txt into the file to search for field and under the specific folder we'll put bracket windows volume bracket. Because we don't know where the file is, we must tell the system how deep it should search. For example, under one subdirectory, two subdirectories and so on. In this example, I'm going to use a number of 10. Click next, next and let's put the search to the test right now. After a while, you can see our file is located at C. Remember we had a property called result property at the start? This result property can be used anywhere we want, such as in a registry key, an INI file and so on. It is entirely up to you what you do with it. That's it for this video. In the next one we'll look at MSI updates.